Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to talk about Clonezilla, its auto restore feature. Uh, Clonezilla is a very feature rich open source free program. Uh, very similar to the Norton Ghost, uh, except it has a few more features. And today we're going to look at creating an auto restore uh, CD or DVD image. Uh, the only limitation here is going to be the size of your storage device, DVD or CD. Uh, so your Windows, if you're going to uh, create an image of a Windows operating system, uh, Clonezilla has a pretty good uh, compression algorithm, so it can reduce uh, the size of the original uh, files by uh, greater than 50%. But again, you have limitations on a DVD of, uh, if you're using a double-sided, about 8 gigs. Uh, if you're using a CD, it's about 740 megs. But uh, if you can limit uh, the size of your operating system, uh, this is a great feature for creating a auto restore CD or DVD. Highly recommend uh, checking this out, uh, Windows, uh, because of its uh, innate ability to get itself corrupted or infected with viruses. You need some way to quickly uh, restore your computer. And this is a device that can do that and save you a tremendous amount of time. So let's get started. Uh, Clonezilla Live CD, you're going to need uh, to download the uh, Live CD from the Clonezilla uh, download or Clonezilla uh, website. Uh, I'm using the i46 version, which is the 32-bit, but they also have 64-bit versions too. Uh, here is their page, their download page, and you can see I'm going to be selecting the i46. Uh, we had another uh, Clonezilla uh, tutorial that uh, we used or we created for showing you how to save an image and we're going to refer back to that because the image that we saved previously uh, either onto a second partition on your hard drive or to a d external device such as a USB uh, external drive or USB uh, flash drive uh, you can refer back to that as to how we did that. Uh, select Conzilla. this time we're going to select the recovery ISO zip feature and I have a screenshot of that it's right here. Before we, on our first one, we saved uh, part of a hard drive or a partition instead of the entire drive. And then we restored that using this feature, restore parts. But today we're going to be looking at recovery, ISO zip. And this is where we can create, again, a recovery CD or DVD. So I'm going to move over to the uh, demo. And right here where we've started the uh, Clonezilla uh, live CD. So we're going to go ahead and accept, accept that uh, default setting and get it started. And we're going to skip a lot of uh, what we covered last time. So we're going to take a little break as this thing is booting up. Okay, we're back. Uh, Clonezilla has booted up and I've paused at this uh, selection here. This time instead of uh, using either the save parts where you would save your partition or if you're going to restore your image you would go restore parts. This time we're going to use the recovery ISO zip feature. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Uh, Clonezilla continues to boot up. This time though it's going to go to that Clonezilla folder and it reveals that there's three images saved. So I'm going to use the most recent image here. Select that. Uh, SDA1 is asking where are we going to be restoring uh, this image to. And it's going to be to our local hard drive, SDA1. Uh, again, we're going to uh, use the English language. Uh, there is no key map, so I'm going to click through that. Uh, pull this over. Okay, here we're going to make sure we're selecting this, selecting to the default, the ISO. I'm going to create an ISO file, and again, we're going to use this to burn an image, uh, auto restore uh, image to a CD or DVD. So we'll select that. Has finished uh, creating uh, the ISO image for our auto uh, restore uh, CD or DVD. Uh, I've gone ahead and created a image or a CD with that image and we can go ahead and reboot our computer and when we do we have a new selection here it says Clonezilla live with image and we have taken the image that we have saved now and we've burned it to this to the uh, a CD or DVD and we've used that to now reboot the computer 
So we're going to select this first feature and go ahead and uh, begin starting up CloneZilla again. Now CloneZilla is going to automatically do a complete restore of our operating system. And uh, we'll take it through here fairly quickly. I'm going to go ahead and let uh, CloneZilla boot up. And we'll see what kind of questions that it asks before it actually does the complete restore of our operating system. So we'll break just for a minute uh, to let this continue to boot up. Yeah, uh, CloneZilla Auto Restore has finished uh, booting up, but, but it has paused. It's asking this question, are you sure you want to continue? And this is where it's asking, really, do you want to continue with your restore? Because when you do a restore of your partition, it wipes out everything on that partition and replaces it with this image. So it just wants to make sure that uh, you know what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and put a yes in here. Click on it, and it's going to ask me again, are you really sure that this is what you want to do? Let me drop this down a little bit. You can see, uh, let me ask you again, are you sure you want to continue? So again, I'm going to go ahead and put a Y in here and let it uh, continue with the boot. Now it's going to go ahead and begin the restore process, and we find that uh, doing our auto restore, it's much quicker than we when we originally created the image, and it's going to... Bring this back up here. Uh, you can see the elapsed time, eight seconds. Remaining time is only about three minutes. It actually takes about four, uh, maybe a little bit less than five minutes uh, to go ahead and do this complete restore. The image that I'm using is fairly small, and again, I'm operating this within a virtual uh, environment uh, for demonstration purposes, but it's just like uh, if we were doing this on a regular computer. So we'll go ahead and break here uh, as it's doing its uh, restore. I'll be right back. Clonezilla has finished the auto restore procedure and has completely restored my operating system on my SDA1 or my hard drive. So it's asking me what I want to do next. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the number one here to reboot. Let Clonezilla uh, reboot my computer. And we should see Windows starting up uh, normally if everything has gone okay. So I'll give us a second just to uh, finish up and then reboot. Ask me to remove the disk. And we see that Windows is booting up uh, normally. So, so far it looks like everything is uh, fine. Give Windows just a second to continue booting up. Make sure we don't have any errors. And we see the normal welcome screen. We know uh, Windows is starting up normally. So this is a demonstration of uh, CloneZilla's auto restore feature. Very valuable, very nice feature. CloneZilla is something I would strongly recommend that you get familiar with. Uh, you might consider using it like I did in a virtual environment until you're familiar enough with it to use it on your actual computer. Uh, I do have uh, other tutorial resources at my YouTube channel. Uh, concerning both uh, Gparted, creating partitions on your hard drive so that you can put an image on your hard drive. Also, uh, other tutorials on other features uh, of CloneZilla and also uh, Norton Ghost. Also, I might uh, take you back to my uh, website, website uh, Computer Repair Training Plus. I'm going to put some additional articles on that site as I have time uh, concerning CloneZilla, and I'll give you some screenshots and take you again uh, through the process of creating an image, uh, restoring an image, and also uh, the creation of this auto-restore uh, CD-DVD image. Some great features of CloneZilla. Well, thank you very much for your time. I'll see you next time. Bye.